Hello YouTubers, welcome to not a let's play, but more of an explanation of a previous playthrough that I've done for this is Star Wars X Wing Collector City ROM Edition and I'm we'll go over the X Wing Historical Mission number five. Some of you have had issues with it and I started to do a Instead of just trying to replay it and get some good footage from that and have to delete all that, go through all that, I decided to just record, do you use my camera footage. My camera footage will just basically, you know, you have a camera, you can, in this game, you can tell it to turn it on and record it and enter the film room right here. And then you can tell it to, uh, you can save it, save the camera footage and go into it, uh, watch it. Uh, you know, watch it from different angles. Watch. You can also enter it, enter it like a simulation, like you would, you know, simulator, and just play it, play it. So it's kind of neat. But uh, for Stokel Mission Number Five, I actually did uh, another playthrough on it. Um, actually, more than one playthrough, because one of my playthroughs was this one was uh, my good playthrough. However, I told the I turned the camera off halfway through it and didn't realize it, it didn't save it, it just restarted the camera over again because I thought it was running out of footage, you know, space for it and it, it just restarted again so this was a successful playthrough, this was not this was an actual fail, failed playthrough but I captured the first part of the mission which, you know which, in which you, you know, basically the outline of what to do I'm going to preface this by saying this this is not exact. You may do it slightly different, and you may use certain tactics or strategy. You may have a better strategy than mine, by all means. Um, you know, if you can record it, put it up on YouTube. You know, go through and explain it. I'm just going to give you what my points. Uh, I'm playing this mission. What what I my focus on my strategies for this mission. Um, Saying that, I'm going ahead go ahead and get started. I'm going to pause the video and get started on the footage. Okay, let's see here. This is the first part of the mission. You just jumped in. Uh, first recommended strategy would be I'm going to play is to charge up your. I draw off some energy from your can't your. Either Roger, two ways. Using designated target. Draw off some energy to your shields, and put your set your your gun cannons to advanced. Uh, increase the charge or leave it like and basically shoot tell your wingman to destroy the other the one that's coming the TIE fighter is going directly towards you I told him to attack the TIE fighter that was going towards um, towards uh, let's see what, what my phone like. I'm going after Uh, the other TIE fighter in this, I think it's Beta, I think, uh, or maybe short both of them. Alpha, uh, Gamma. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, so. So, yeah. Uh, strategies for this mission, first part of the mission, always is to, again, Take down the, the wings if you can. Tie fighter wings, um, flight, the uh, flights or wings, um, and you can do that yourself or do that with your with use your wingman. I probably I preference using the wingman because he can just go out and do that. He's not really doing anything any, anything else anyway. He will attack one that's there close to you, the uh, Y wings, but he won't do. And there I just hit I just hit one of the tugs. You know I did a good job doing that. You know I like to damage my X-wing doing that. I'm just, I just roll that way, but no, you shouldn't do that. Focus in on speed. Time is critical in this mission. You have you start out with 25, I believe, minutes, but it, it will go away very quickly, and you'll find yourself in a, in a tight situation when uh when they start a short jumps in, and you ha you you have not identified a freighter or or container that's critical, Roger, mission critical. You're in trouble, or you may have fighters going after your Y wings. By the way, they can they can destroy one of your Y wings, but they can't destroy both your Y wings. I believe I've 
had a successful mission destroying one, when they destroyed one of my y -wings. But that being said, focus in on speed. Except for these wings, they really don't do not attack you, and they don't. They're not very successful at it. So you could technically put all your energy of your your shield energy into your engines and have use that extra speed boost to catch up, destroy them, you know, identify objects. Particularly the two mission critical objects in this portion of the game are the calamari freighter, the calamari container. Target disabled. You have to identify them otherwise otherwise your freighters will not rescue them, I believe. I believe. Um, I know at least one of them it will not rescue the container. They did not rescue the container the first time I played through this until I identified them. They, then the freighters suddenly jumped in and I had about one minute left and so I lost the mission. But identifying those two containers are is key, critical in this mission. Everything else can be destroyed half-heartedly. You don't have to do it with Roger, sight unseen, I should say. Uh, the two other mission critical thing objects to destroy, or four other mission objects to destroy, are the two tugs and the two weapons weapon frigate freighter and the weapon container. I believe there's only two of them. And since I have to go Roger, I would have to jump in this uh, again. Again, a playthrough of it, you can kind of see which ones have weapons on them. I'll just say weapons. Uh, I believe the other one has has had shield generators. I don't know. I don't think it's critical, but again, you could destroy all of it, and it wouldn't. It would not. You will not have a failure on this mission. So you could technically just go 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 hog wild. But the main thing, this first part of the mission, is to identify the calamari freighter and the calamari container. And protect, basically take out the wings of fighters. That's it. Your wingman can do either the, one of the, take out the fighters. You can order them to attack, or order them to attack the weapons containers. Target disabled. That's all you really need to do. Roger, using designated target. Keep in mind, once the star destroyer jumps in, and once it does, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut the footage off, and I'll pause it, and there, he just jumped in. So Roger, I'm going to go ahead. Designated target. I'm going to pause it. Okay, this is part two in the mission. I consider I basically say th about two or three parts. You know, you have the first part, identify the thing before the star destroyer jumps in. Second part, when the star destroyer is actually launching waves, wings, and then the third part is cleanup, uh, destroying any if you have those two mission critical uh, objects still left over, the freighter, the uh, container, or the freighter or the two tugs. That's basically it. So this is the second part of the mission. I'm gonna go ahead and start it I'll go ahead and start it up. Um pause it for a second. Start up. Okay. So okay, we're started up. Your first wing to launch will be the fighters. The critical point in this Roger, portion of the of the playthrough is to put all your energy into catching up and meeting those fighters as fast as possible. Both Cannons and, and shields should be all in the engines until you get within three clicks with 3.00 and then dump them. To increase your, sh your cannon rate to maximum. Your shields are not critical if you do not run into anything. Nothing will, nothing in this portion of the mission will attack you. Nothing. It, the exception, of course, would be the Star Destroyer, but if you do not get close to the Star Destroyer, it will not attack you. So. Keep that in mind. You can use all that energy into, sh into your shields from your the shield energy all the, all the way all of it into your your engines. And if you need be if needed, you can always dump some of your cannon energy into your shields if you need it. If you need shield energy, you shouldn't. And you can always set set your sh your cannon energy into your engines should you need to catch up with anything that gets away from you. But the main focus of you, the player, should be these bombers. Taking down those fighter wings is it's good. It's essentially that you take down at least at least one of them. Preferentially, you take down two, 
It's better to take down two of them. Your wingman can deal with one. He doesn't deal with two that well, and three Roger. is out of the question. So, and bombers, he, he completely sucks on. It, he takes them now when he, there's... They're not really flying towards the... If they said something critical, but when they're just... But should they fly to a freighter, he just doesn't seem to attack them very well. I don't know because they're slow or what 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 is it about bombers and your wingmen that they cannot hit them very well but one of the two strategies I use for fighters again is destroy all of them or destroy all but one of them and let your fight your wingmen deal with them bombers there's only one strategy I use for bombers well actually one or two strategies you can use for bombers too you can destroy all of them because they're so slow or you can destroy all and damage one of them force them back into the Star Destroyer and you know buy more time whichever you feel comfortable with you know go with that if you just like you just uh, a shooting bastard you can just knock everything out within a few hits um, go for it you know take down the bombers as quickly as possible if you just feel if you're not really a good shot Roger, and you feel like target. you feel like that you can't hit those bombers that well I mean you, you're just like afraid for those fighters then again damage those bombers give you more time for the fighters that you can deal with them uh, recommend recommended cannons the cannon settings I recommend for fighters are, are dual dual cannons and then for bombers quad cannons so it's dual length for fighters quads for bombers and then you can always set it to single cannon fire if you want to damage them that being left up to you Roger ignoring I found that quad cannons work best again since the bomb the bombers are so slow quad cannons take them down fastest but you know you may w prefer dual cannons on them whatever you feel comfortable comfortable with is do it and he's going back um, I'm gonna o order my wingman to Roger, ignore him but he's target. he's gonna ignore my orders because you know he doesn't have a target and he feels like shoot so shooting something you know way to go wingman Oh yes, another strategy to do is complete. always order your Roger, wingman to attack and to attack something. What it, preferentially fighters. As soon as he their fighter comes out, order him to attack a fighter. Order him to attack a fighter. And that way he can deal with fighters and ignore something that you want you don't want him destroyed, such as that bomber. He'll go after the fighters and he'll avoid the Star Destroyer because he will fly next to the Star Destroyer like an idiot and get shot up and die leaving you all by yourself so he is useful in this mission although you know depending on your skill level he's more more important if you're not really that really good he becomes a lifesaver and you know use him as will uh, also you can also use another strategy for things that get away from you because of the long straight run they make you can technically you have six torpedoes and you can use them against you know say a bomber or a fighter to make a saving pass saving grace on you even uh... even though a fighter is gets out ahead of you and they don't make any sudden uh... you know avoidance actions of a, 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 a torpedo will catch up to a fighter that's you know out, out ahead of you I don't know if it's just the way the torpedo is designed, it's why that is, but they do that, so so they can save you in case you need to use them, you know, in case something gets away from you. Torpedoes can be useful for that. Basically, that's it. There's not really much else to be said. You know, use your wingman against uh, one or more, more than one fighter focusing on the bombers you should focus on the bombers all the way use torpedoes if necessary for fighters that get away from you or bombers that get away from you and you'll win this mission as this this playthrough will be you know I ignore the ones that once I damage them 
I pretty much ignore that fighter. Ow. I mean, he he basically turns around, goes to the other direction for a while, and then comes back. So that's why I ignore him. Uh, I think the other one, I think I order him. To, no, I don't. Uh oh. Which you should do is order him, to, order your wingman to go after that fighter. I just basically focus on the bombers because that fighter is not not as critical as these bombers are. So, let's see here. Where is where is he? Where is my where's my wingman? No, where's my wingman? No, can't go back. Well, well. There he is. He's going off the bombers. And two got more TIE fighters coming out. Dual fire again. Dual fire for the fighters. Um. Complete. Yep, that was. Oh, Come on. Nice shot. And basically that's it. That's really all that's needed to be, you know, strategy you really need in this mission. Your both your freighters will jump out. I, I already destroyed the two mission critical uh uh objects in this mission. You can destroy everything. Um once the freight your freighters have jumped out, you can basically destroy everything else. You should have about four to six minutes, I believe. That being said, I yeah, this is not going to do well, I hope this was informative to you, for to those of you who are having trouble with this mission. Um, I hope I give a little bit better explanation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video. If you would like to rate this video, you know, if you liked it, you know, thumbs up. If you don't, maybe you want me to not say anything. I I bore you, I annoy you, I just make you laugh. I don't you know, annotations, I can leave them, I can do that too. Whatever you prefer for your preference, you know, I get, I, I read my feedback and I, I try to respond to it best I can. Um, if you like to subscribe, you know, you know watch some more of these videos. Uh, I, you know, I was actually surprised uh, using the camera footage, you know, how easy it is and doesn't take that much space and doing this after, after playthrough really is actually not too bad. So if you'd like to see more of this, I can do certain missions that you're having trouble with, need a little feedback on, I can do that, um, play around with this camera camera again. And the cool thing about this camera footage, you can always enter it like you would play a normal mission. So you can always enter it at any, I think at the beginning of the footage you have to enter it for then, and then when the footage runs out, you, you know, the mission ends when the footage runs out. So you can't play through the whole mission, but you can play through it from a certain point of view and try a different strategy. That's the cool thing about the camera footage. Recommend some of you might use it if you're having trouble with the mission. You might try try doing a camera recording and play through a certain point or watch the footage and see what what's what's going on with. You can always switch your camera positions like I have done and your object position and do free free track free or follow objects tracking turn on off. You can go back to just your camera position on. And you can just watch it from there. It's in that respect, it's quite useful, both in X-wing and Tie Fighter. Again, this has been Malachi Diwaman. Until next time, I will catch you later.